What's up, nerdlings? What up, nerdlings? <gasps> Whoa, that's huge! Do you nerd? For mail and mail! Hey, nerdlings, Chris the old ass retro gamer here, and you're watching Do You Nerd? Well, do you? Mail and mail and mail and mail. mail, and mail. mail, and mail. We have another piece of mail and mail, this time from YouTube channel Viracy. Of course, links will be in the description below. <laughs> Let me tell you, Viracy has a fun channel. They do a lot of great pickups. <laughs> there's also a lot of hardware reviews on there, which is always very handy because there's a ton of stuff that comes out, especially for like retro consoles. But it's nice to have a channel like Viracy doing reviews and showing you exactly what it does. Hey, is this getting old yet? What's in the box? <laughs> <laughs> What's in the box? Pain. They already had our address because when we were lucky enough to pick up a couple of the one-up arcade cabinets for $50 from Walmart, they noticed we picked up a Galaga cabinet. And then they sent us a nice cover protector yes. for the board. Oh my gosh. So don't worry, Iron Man. When we're playing Galaga, it'll be protected. <sighs> All right, hey. All right, good job, guys. So it was very sweet of them to hook us up with that. And now it's time to see what else they've hooked us up with. Yeah. Hey, a note. Uh, 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 um. Oh, it's typed. Hey, Tom and Lacey. This is Brandon, Viracy. I don't know how much you're into Conan. Uh-oh. Which Conan? The comics or the hunky hunky governor? <laughs> But if you're not, maybe you can find it a good home. He came to me in a large mystery box at a convention. While he has a lot of good detail, I simply do not nerd for Conan. You'll notice that I hot glued the window into place a little bit as it was originally coming away from the box. I'm guessing if you keep the figures, you won't be keeping them in the box anyhow. Either way, enjoy. All the best, Brandon. You know us too well. <laughs> so yeah, we... we we don't like to keep things in their boxes. Ow! Holy moly! <laughs> wow! Check this that out. Is so Conan the Frost Giant's daughter. Right, she doesn't have a top on. Oh no, she does not. <laughs> Stop! It's nipple time. <laughs> we, we opening this? Yeah, we are. <laughs> I've never read the Conan comics, but I was a huge fan of the Conan the Destroyer and Conan the Barbarian, a huge crush on Arnold Schwarzenegger. In <laughs> fact, he was my very first crush at the age of five. Oh, that's, that's a lot for me to live up to. <laughs> but, you know, I'm not as familiar with, you know, Conan's from the comics and everything, but um, I have thought about getting into it just because I like the movie so much. Where do you begin? Exactly. Now, the Conan comics, I'm pretty sure, have been with Marvel just about from the start. So that's a long time. And then there were reboots later on. And then, of course, you've got, like, the Red Sonja spinoff. So it's a lot of history to catch up on. Yes. Now, real quick, on the top, it says, Inspired by the classic Robert E. Howard story, The Frost Giant's Daughter. Figure sculpted by Jeffrey Scott from original drawings by Arthur Suidem. And there is some cool artwork on here too. This back image that has the giants and Conan with the sword and shield. And then of course the daughter there. She's uh, not as revealing in this picture, I don't think. No, not as much. She's awful not gianty enough to be the daughter of these giants. She's the daughter, she's still young. <laughs> She'll grow into her giantism. Whoa, well, that like, was difficult. Like any good toy or statue collection, that thing was in there. Who uh, who loves the twisty ties? Not me. You know who doesn't know what that pain is like? <laughs> the co-opel of nerds. We're not monsters. <laughs> Miss me. Well, let's start with these giants. These guys look amazing. I'm getting a huge nostalgic feel of a uh, golden axe with these guys, like some of the bosses. Golden that you axe would fight. or Gimli from Lord of the Rings, the way the size he would like to be. Yeah. Nobody 
Dwarf. He's got a belt of uh, skulls here, Mine very fashionable. Too. And aside from his axe, he does seem to have a, I guess this would be a dagger to him. To him, yeah. Does it come out? It does not. No. Now, and the axe is firmly in place, so nothing is removable. And it looks like he does not come off his stand, which is fine. Uh, nice rock base there. But the sculpt of his body, the paint, everything looks really nice. I mean, you can see the details in their belt, even in like the folds of their clothes or the fur on his cape and everything. Boots with the fur. No boots with the fur. And I, I always find it interesting. I guess it's, you know, however you feel like making your helmet, whether they have the horns, you know, kind of going down like ram style or, you know, like straight out kind of goat-esque, I guess. These guys both have a lot of expression in their face, too. Mm -hmm. You've got some of those uh, facial wrinkles and lines. The paint job around the minute areas like the eyebrows and the eyes, they look really good. None of the uh, eyes seem to be crossed. You can actually see his mouth, and it looks like a mouth. It's not just, like, painted on his beard. Now, this one, um, he is raising one eyebrow and kind of squinting the other one, which is kind of a neat touch. He also has a scar. His mustache hangs down so far that you don't see a mouth on him. There's a lot of really, really neat detail that if you don't take him out of the box, you're never going to see. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Well, what about your main man? Well, Mr. Conan here, he's got his giant claymore and... It looks like we've got a wolf pelt that he's wearing as a hat and then a skirt. <laughs> he has kind of a smaller shield, not quite as small as a buckler, but also not like a, a huge, you know, like gladiator, Spartan, Spartan shield. He's got his necklace on, his old tribal necklace. Again, some really good detail here. If you look super close, there's a little tiny bit of bleeding from the paint of his skin onto the necklace itself. Not as bad as you sometimes see in other figures, even modern figures. Mm -hmm. The expression I'm getting from his face is uh, he doesn't really have a lot of that Conan fire right here. No, he's almost grimacing, I feel like. He's a little more somber, yeah. I suppose nothing hurts you. Only pain. Conan's feet are probably cold in just his little sandals here. Well, he's got the fur socks on, I guess. He's looking very cool. And he's got that pose like, you know. Just, come at me, bro. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Giant bros, come at me. Come at me, bro! Well, if you think Conan's feet are cold, she's got to be freezing. Oh, geez. <laughs> she's literally has nothing on but a very small bikini bottom with uh, metal sides clasping it together, which is going to be cold in the, in the snow. And it does kind of crack me up how she has a, like, draping over the rear, but not the front. So I guess she doesn't mind the front being shown off as She much. doesn't want her butt cheeks to get frost bit. And those metal clasps around her waist, I guarantee that those things are frozen to her skin. She does not have a top on. And we do have a bit of a nip slip here. She has kind of a funny little smirk on her face. She's got an eyebrow raise. And she, she does have a little bit of character in her. Now, since she doesn't have, you know, rippling muscles or a lot of clothing or anything, it doesn't seem like there's as much detail on her uh, outside of, like, her body form, I suppose, mm -hmm. you know. She's just got a very well-toned body, which is what you're kind of looking for in, you know, any kind of damsel. The detail in the face is very impressive because there is a different coloring to her lips. And then when you look at her eyes, they manage to paint them. And again, you don't have that cross-eyed look or anything. As you pointed out, the eyebrows sticking up. So I'm very impressed with the minute details in all of this. Mm -hmm. So now the question is, since we're not familiar with the comics, is she on this side sending her giants after Conan, or is she on this side and Conan's protecting her? I, I'm getting, since it's saying the Frost Giant's daughter, I'm saying it's a little bit more of uh, Conan got caught. They spotted me. Since they're not on one base, 
you can maneuver them. I mean, you can, you know, turn the giants against one another. Fight! Well, now the question is, because he was giving us permission to find it a good home, is this a good home for it? This isn't your Arnold Conan, but what do you think? I like it. It's like, I'm very curious about this whole storyline, so I'll probably go try to look it up and read it and then kind of go from there. Looks like we're going to have fun uh, posing these guys, seeing, you know, who's attacking who, <laughs> who's sending who after someone else, or whatever. I would like to say thank you to Viracy for sending these to us because uh, you heard it right here. They've got a good forever home. Anybody else hoping to get their hands on these? Sorry, I probably should have warned you. She's <laughs> a teeny tiny bit of a Conan fan. A little bit. And obviously it doesn't matter if it's not even the governator. <laughs> Fun fact about him though. One time somebody asked him on Instagram if he still had the Conan sword. And he showed a picture of his office when he was governor. And he has the sword behind his desk. Which is pretty cool. Now you see, that's somebody I can get behind. Because if I'm in front of him, he's going to chop my head off. <laughs> Viracy, once more, thank you so much for thinking of us to send these. And please, nerdlings, check out Viracy's channel. Again, links in the description below. Strength. Strength. Be sure to give the video a like if you happen to like it. Even if it's just for damsels in distress. Or fashionable wolf wear. <laughs> leave some comments down below please let us know if you've read any of the conan comic books and tell us if we're missing out and especially if there's a place that we should start because yeah 30 plus years 40 years a lot of years yeah i'd like a good spot because i'm an originalist i have to start at the beginning i feel like <laughs> so if there's a good place to start i would appreciate it <laughs> be sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and conan scream <laughs> Like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we have merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh, and if we like it, we nerd it. And down he goes. <laughs> no, you killed my brother. Why does he sound like Darth Vader? Oh, I don't know. That was a mistake, wasn't it? <laughs> Sorry, nerdlings. <laughs> Whoop! Bye, guys. Bye. It says old pics on the side. Old pics. Doodly do, doodly do, doodly do, do 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 Keep up, and I forgot to answer Sega Head today when he was talking about the squid underwater, isn't it? Blooper? Yeah. I, f I meant to answer him with that. He's got the boots with the fur. I would have used that joke. Did you? <laughs> I did with him. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> Nipple. <laughs>